Hey, this is Vic JC, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the reverse ASIN search and how you can use the reverse ASIN search to beat your competitors at their own game. So I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step process on how to use this specific keywords research tool for Amazon FBA. If you haven't heard of Helium 10 Cerebro reverse ASIN tool, don't worry, I'm going to be showing you exactly what that is. Now, in order to compete with your competitors, you're going to need to know exactly what keywords they use and what they rank for. And this tool and this method is going to be showing you exactly how to do that. So let's jump into the laptop right now so I can show you how to do that so you can beat your competitors so customers can actually find your product first. So let's say you found your product that you want to sell on Amazon FBA. So you've either found the product and you're ready to sell it or you've just sent it off to the manufacturer or supplier to get it ready and you're now at the stage where you need to do your keyword research so that when anybody comes online and they're looking for your product, they're typing in the correct words to find your product. Well, that's not the real way this works. We need to make sure that we discover what customers are typing in to find our product. And we're going to be using reverse async so we make sure that we're using the same keywords that our competitors are using. So we can beat them at their own game and be found by thousands and thousands of customers. So let's take for example that we're using a dispose oh, disposable gloves. For instance, so this is your product, this is the product you want to sell. So there are a number of keywords that these people are actually ranking for now that enables customers to come and find this specific product so they can go ahead and buy that product. Remember, the more people that we get our product in front of, the more likely they are to buy our product. So that's what we want to do. We want to make sure we get our product in front of as many customers as we possibly can. So how do we go about doing this? We need to use a reverse ASIN search which will give us all of the information on what keywords this person is ranking for, this person is ranking for, etc. So we can use that within our keyword research. We can put that in the SEO, which is the search engine, engine optimization, which we put in the back end of Amazon. And we can also use all of these terms for our PPC campaigns. So let me show you exactly how to do that. We head over to Helium 10's Cerebro. If you haven't heard of Helium 10, it's a product that will give you everything that you need to get your business started and keep it running. So Helium 10 provides a lot of stuff like product research, it does trend finding, keyword research, Cerebro, which is the tool that we are going to do to do the reverse ASIN lookup. Um, it has a keyword processor that will remove duplicate words and do many other uh, things for you as well. It also has a listing optimizer, index checker, etc. So it has tons of stuff. It also has profits as well. So once you start selling on Amazon, it will take into account all the sales that you make. You could also input the data of how much you've spent on your product. So it will accurately calculate how much profit making you're making on a daily basis, a monthly basis, and any other date frames or time periods that you might want to look at to do your analysis to check how well you're actually doing. It also comes with the Chrome extension over here, as you can see which it has the product research section for the Chrome extension. It has ASIN grabber, profitability calculator, inventory check and review downloader as well. So there are tons of things within this as well, but in this tutorial, we're going to be using Cerebro, which is the reverse ASIN lookup tool. If you're interested in getting this tool, make sure you hit the link in the description. There is also a 50% off discount that you can get right now. I'm not sure how long that discount would last. So if you do want this product, go ahead and use the 50% discount code and the link in the description. So the first thing we want to do is we want to head over to our competitors, find out who they are and take the ASIN numbers from there. Now, what I would usually do is I would run Helium 10's uh, X-Ray, which is the product research tool. And that would give me a nice easy list of the ASINs that you can see here on the, left, on the left, which they are populating. So let's look at our competitors over here. So as you can see, this person is making just under 400,000 a month on disposable gloves. So we want to take that ASIN as well and we want to put that into Cerebro. So let's copy and paste that there. So that's one. Uh, let's take some more. So this person is making 144,000. Let's take that information there and pop that straight into there. Uh, let's take this one over here as well because they look like they are doing Yep, under 25,000 every single month. So let's use three for an example at the moment. Now there is another se section that you can use here so you can click on get competitors. So if you want to quickly just go onto here, it will basically analyze the ASIN numbers that you've already got over here and it will take the competitors who are relevant to these keywords. Now, if you've already been doing your product research for a while on this, you'll start to recognize 
that these are some of the key players in your industry, in your specific niche as well. So you might want to select some of these. So let's take that one, for example. Oh, we've just opened it up. Um, let's take that one, for example. So it would go green once you've selected it, and then you just hit the close button and it will add it to the list over here. So what we want to do now is we want to hit get keywords. And remember this tutorial is so we can find the keywords that people are searching so they can find our product. Now, now that we've searched these four ASIN numbers over here, we can see that they have put in the details over here for us. There's a little bit around distribution, frequently bought together, which will help you make a bundling decision as well if you want, and also the word frequency. So what words are being used the most? So then you can start using that to develop what are the keywords that you really need to include when you're writing your title, your description, etc. So you can look, see here, we've got gloves, we've got nitrile or nitrile, don't know how you pronounce it, disposable, latex, free, large, food, medium, small, powder, medical. Those are the keywords and you can scroll down even more to get more of the major keywords. But from that information alone, you can see that these are the keywords that these ASINs, these, these sellers are using to be ranked for these specific keywords. Now we haven't put any filters in over here. Actually, let me move me over there. Ran out of memory, so there might be a slight cut in that video, but let's go back to what I was talking about. So uh, we've got all the information over here. As you can see, the word frequency is there as well. We want to make sure that the position that these people are ranking for are between one and let's say 25, which would land them on the first page of that specific keyword search that customers are searching for. Now let's say the search volume that we also want to put is 500 plus. So we only want the words where at least 500 people a month are actually searching for these specific keywords to find these disposable gloves. Now the match type we want to do is organic because we only want to make sure that we find the words that are being ranked for organically, or the products that are being ranked for organically for the specific keywords. Um, and then that's all we do. We hit the apply button and from the 5,000 that we had over here, we can see that we now have 77 words that we can work with. Now that is a brilliant number to work with and I'm going to show you how well they are actually doing. So if we look at the search volume over here, you can see that for plastic gloves, there are 7,000 people searching for this. Now it's highly likely that they're making a decent amount of money if all four of these people are ranked on the first page for this specific search. Now as we found as well, disposable gloves, there are 28,914 people a month searching for this specific product. So it looks like that these are great keywords to use. So all of these keywords, for instance, are great to use, but you want to make sure and that you want to check that these are relevant key keywords as well. So what you can do is you can quickly open this out over here so you can check to see whether these are the relevant keywords for the specific, uh, for the specific product that we actually want to sell. And as you can see, this looks extremely relevant to the product that we want to sell. So that's really good. And you would essentially go through the whole list over here to make sure that they are the correct keywords. Now let's order this by search volume so we can see the actual top results over here. So you can see here, Nitrile Gloves, there are 45,000 people searching for this specific product. So with 45,000 searching for this specific product, what do you think? It's highly unlikely that these four are making a lot of money since they are ranked between position one and 25 within this specific keyword. So as you can see, you can use this information to put it in your backend. You can use it for your title. You can use it for your description as well. So the keyword research here using reverse ASIN is super, super important. And look how fast I did that. Now there are some advanced filters that you can use as well, which gets a little bit complicated, but you want to make sure as a beginner, you keep this really, really simple. You do not need to make this complicated. Now, if you wanted to find a targeting keyword as well, what you could do is you could use the advanced filters over here that I've just dropped down here, and you can put a maximum, for example, of let's say uh, 10,000 competing products. Well, 10,000 competing products, and you'd hit the apply button. And that will give you a good idea of how many people are actually competing for this product. So let's look at this word over here. You can see here that gloves disposable latex free, there are 7,000 people searching for it and only 10,000 competing products, which generally is low. I would like to see that this is pretty high and the competing products is pretty low. So you can start targeting that keyword 
and use that keyword over and over again within your listing and your description. And you can use it in your search engine optimization, which is your SEO in your backend. And you can also use it for PPC. So you can create a specific PPC campaign for this specific keyword. So you can really start ranking and get up to the first page and get up to ranking number one. So you can really start taking all of this traffic. Now imagine you start taking all of this traffic, how much money you could really start making. So if you're selling a product that's going for $20, for instance, and a thousand of these people are coming to your product, then you're already making $20,000 every single month. If they buy your product and there's a thousand people coming to your product, they're all buying and you're selling your product for $20, $20 then you are going to be making $20,000 a month just off of this specific keyword. So you can see how powerful this tool is. Now let's scroll down for, actually, let's change the competing products. We've got 23 over here. Let's see if we can go down to 5,000. I don't know if there's going to be any keywords here that we can actually use. Now let's see. Okay, great. So uh, we've got beauty boxes. That's irrelevant. Venom steel gloves. I'm assuming that's going to be irrelevant. But we've got pink natural gloves. So that could be something you want to go for. There's 778. So that's about two to three people a day searching for this product, but there's only a thousand competing products. Um, but this is something you want to go for. As you can see, the search volume is higher than the competing products, which means this is something that you might want to go for as well. But if the numbers are this low over here, if the search volume is below 5,000 or 3,000, for instance, then I would try and stay away from those words. They're not going to make that much money for you and you will already start to organically rank for these words when you start targeting the other words that we were looking at. So let's go back to 10,000 over here. What you would do is you would start ranking for these words. Ideally, for keyword research, for when you're doing your SEO and your PPC, you want to make sure that you keep it nice and open regardless of how many competing products there are. So once you start your PPC campaign, you'll be able to actually use these gloves and start ranking for bigger keywords. So when I say bigger, I mean longer tail keywords that have a lower search volume. And then once you start ranking for that, you'll start ranking for shorter keywords with a higher search volume. So that's how it works. And that's how you would use this reverse ASIN search. Now, if you're using this for PPC, you've got 77 words over here. Make sure you go through this list over here and just check whether they're relevant for you as well. And then once you've done that, all you would need to do is go to the top over here and you can select the export button and you will be able to copy to clipboard and copy that straight over to your PPC campaign in Amazon. So you can start making that money and start making profitable keywords and we'll start putting in profitable keywords that are really gonna make you some decent amount of money. Now let's see if we can find some of these key players within this. So let's open up Nitrile Gloves, Gloves, which is the biggest search term within this field. And let's see if we can find uh, this product over here, which is the first product. So it's Med Pride Nitrile Exam Gloves, and this is what it looks like. Let's see if we can find it over here. And as you can see, they are Amazon's choice. They are here. It looks like the number, yep. Uh, number one, I would think, yeah. Yep, this is number one. So this is classified as being number one. So as you can see here, there's all the information that you need. So as you can see here, all of this information is accurate and is correct as well. Now, if we clicked into this product over here, we'll get more information that Helium 10 actually provide as well. So if we just scroll down here, Helium 10 is now loading some data for us. And as you can see, over the last 30 days, the blue line over here is the price that they sell it at. Uh, the yellow one is their list price. I would ignore that. The new price is the price that they're actually selling. And this is the sales rank. And as you can see, they float between around the 180 to 140 mark, which is extremely, extremely high. You'd normally see something around 10,000, 1,000, 20,000 even. You'd see that as a ranking. So if we looked at this from a one year perspective, you can see the difference over there. All time perspective, you can see how high the ranking was when they first started a very long time ago. So as you can see, they've improved their ranking. This is the red or the pink line. As you can see, they've improved their ranking massively over time and have kept the top spot for a very long time. And they continue to remain there for the last 30 days. Over the last 90 days, they've just been continually improving as well. Um, moving from 300 to 100 is extremely difficult as well. So they've done really well. They've done a really good job. And this is all part of the Helium 10 tools. So you can use this information to see whether the information in Cerebro is actually accurate as well. So you can trust the data in here 
I trust the data personally and use it myself for my PPC campaigns, for my SEO that I put in my backend, and also when I create my listing and do my title. If you don't do this properly, customers will not be able to find your product. So you need to make sure that you do the reverse ASIN search and rank for all and put all of these keywords so you can rank for these keywords. So customers can find you, click on your product, see how much value you're actually giving to the customer, and then they will buy your product. What Amazon's algorithm will do then is recognize that under this specific keyword, somebody has found your product, clicked into it, and actually bought your product as well after that. Once Amazon recognized that this happens over and over again, very frequently, they will start to rank your product highly on the amazon.com website. So if you do want this product, make sure you head over to the link that I put in the description and get your 50% off as well. I don't know how long that's actually going to last. If you want to know how to do product research properly, make sure you grab the free ebook that I put a link in the description for. All you need is your name and your email address. And I will see you in the next video where I will be talking about the full product research from start to finish. So make sure you watch out for that video that will be coming out this week. I will see you guys there.